Let's go. Next guest, an Irish band that makes traditional jigs with rock, reggae, and hip hop. They've been getting uh, terrific reviews for their CD, uh, which is called Fire Freedom. Please welcome Black 47. Exciting and, and sort of different, but uh, beautiful and uh, thrilling music. And every song has a story. We got that picture in Time Magazine, and babe, I'm living the American dream. We didn't get written up in the music papers so much. It was more of a phenomenon. A new rock group is becoming something of a sensation. Their name is Black 47. The band is more than just another Irish rock group, and much more than simply the next U2. Here's the brand new video from Black 47. It's called Funky Kaylee. But you wrote a play, which, uh, which the, the premise of which I find very interesting. Can you tell yeah. us about it? It's called Liverpool Fantasy, and it's about if the Beatles hadn't made it, that they break up in 1962 um, over a choice of a single. Instead of doing Please Please Me, they do Till There Was You, but Paul is the only one who stays. The other three go back to Liverpool, and he it becomes a big hit, and he comes to Vegas and becomes a kind of a Tom Jones act. <laughs> The Beatles were back. Paul McCartney was back. Redemption was at hand. The kid had finally come home. Thank you. Back when the, um, the play was done at the Dublin Theatre Festival, we got a telegram from... Um, from Paul saying congratulations and we were so ecstatic we went to the pub and showed it around and then when we left the pub someone said where's the telegram and, uh, <laughs> you have it you have it and we <laughs> I don't know what happened to it I use this scene here a lot in the new novel I've just finished, Rock in, Rock in the Bronx. This area here, this is where the band plays and uh, a lot of scenes happen outside here because in those days too it was, it was a lot wilder. Um, the whole area, Law and Order had kind of broken down and uh, cops basically didn't arrest you unless you were, uh, were going to kill someone. Going to work all night, going to work all day. America 1863 on the Yankee dollar a day. It's hard times, and uh, it's, to me, what Foster was about is he had this God given gift, and he knew that it was the gift of creation. He wrote beautiful songs, like he wrote Beautiful Dreamer right before he died, penniless. Yeah, so it's bringing Foster back to life. History to me was always fascinating. To, I loved history and still do. You know, to, history to me was a story because I grew up in a really historic place. You could almost, the stones almost cried out history in it. So to me, if you don't know where you came from, it's very hard to, to know where you're going. I had done a lot of readings in bookstores and I like doing that. It's, uh, it's nice and you answer questions and everything. But I wanted to see if I could incorporate music into it to, to deepen the whole experience. In the cold daylight, I feel like shy. Can't remember last night's fun. And the foreman says, come on our boys. Stick your fingers down your throats and get to work. To tell a story on stage by um, using pieces from the books that I've written and then putting sympathetic 
uh, Black 47 or Larry Kerwin songs around them to, uh, you know, to have different vignettes and tell different stories. They can't stop the desire. It's a new experience uh, each time. Like I might go from a college to a pub, to a club, to um, a bookstore, to a cafe. More scream! You'll see something like you've never seen before. Hopefully you hear something like you've never heard before. That's rock and roll.